Oh, oh And straight out there it goes onto the street. Brilliant. So this is the level the streets of rage just basically <laughs> completely ripped off, yeah? If I'm remembering that game right. It was like a walk outside in the park kind of level. If you're playing a lot at home, just uh, mention it in the comments, <laughs> let me know if I'm right or not. I do uh, look for validation wherever I can find it. <laughs> He's Elvis, right? This guy's meant to be Elvis, yeah? Elvis and Roy's? Um... He's got that hairdo. But never mind that, well, what's the deal with that dog? This is the happiest dog I've ever seen in a game, I think. It's like just, yap, 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 yeah. yap. <laughs> well, no, he looked a bit like, um... Michael Jackson in Thriller, <laughs> yeah, the, the Thriller thing going on. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Wong Hu? <laughs> oh, there's so much about this game that's wrong. <laughs> Bill the Bull? It's not Bill the Bull, though. It's Bill oh. Bull. Like, it's... <laughs> G or Oriba. Like, where did they even come up with that one? Wong Hu, Bill Bull, and Goriba. Goriba. I was just saying before, but I've, I've actually fell for that head rush thing about three times, and so it really does work. <laughs> I take back what I said, Wong Hu. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Goriba. Gorbachev. Gorbachev! Uh, Mikhail! No. No? Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> you you barreling it? Okay. Cool. All the <laughs> Oh, money. Oh. Ah, who needs cash? Ah, oh, it felt pretty good. You can get bad. a sandwich straight out of a barrel. Right? What happens if we just keep going forward? <laughs> if we just keep going. Is that the end? Just don't worry about it. Oh, I don't, it's it's the fun. ultimate question in life, I think. <laughs> as, if, as in video games, as in Final Fight. <laughs> what if we just kept going? What if? What if we never stopped? That's right. Why does it have to end? Why does it have to be the final one? Sorry, I get, uh, get self-reflexive any time I see a tree, and it's a pretty spectacular tree right there. A ten cents is mine. Oh! There's no justice in the world. We get, we're all with you guys. Yeah. But here's a question. What is that on my foot right here? Is that a bug? <laughs> I don't quite know what I'm looking at. Yeah, what is that? It kind of looks like a skull. A skull. Flower? Black flower? With a skull sticking out of it? I'm seeing like... I don't know. What is that? If you know the answer, if you know the answer, please let us know. <laughs> if I didn't carry this YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, oh. Just knives everywhere. Wonder how many we can get out of that guy. Oh, he's got oh, two more. Go look at him. Give him more knives. More knives! Oh. The big man's in. Oh! Oh, I've got another guy in right now. Alright, that's how it moves, but no problem. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what this it game would be like game. if they remade it. Like, not just remade it, but made just a Final Fight game. Didn't that... Didn't that... What did that do, Reese? Oh no, it was Double Dragon. They did yeah, like Double Dragon. they made some, some Neo or something. Although, did, did I don't you, know if it's... Did, it was that all that good, but we, I think we should... We owe it to ourselves to play it at some point. <laughs> it needs... <sighs> needs a deep analysis. I think Double Dragon... I think Double Dragon owes it to us is more likely. <laughs> Oh, God, that was a complete mess of the sword. 
yeah man i'm gonna i'm gonna go in there at after hours when no one's around man i'm gonna go in there i'm just gonna write sexy on the toilet door man <laughs> yeah that was sean <laughs> and then i'm gonna and then and i might even put a green sort of baby rattle with a smiley face on it thing yeah that's what the kids are into Shit, man yeah well i'm gonna write s so <laughs> right Completely my fault. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Ah, this music too. I love this music. Gets me pumped. Pumped up to hit a dude with a pipe. Pizza. Pizza. Eat it. You know my little my little one looked at me the other day. He put something on my plate, right? And he looked at me and went, "Eat." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I was like, buddy, oh, it's all right. I've got enough food here." And he goes, "Eat." <laughs> so yeah, that that means you should always eat your sandwiches or something. I don't know. I don't know what he was really saying. Was, you know. <laughs> You know, Always Dad, I know, I know you're looking after me, but you got to look after you That's too. Right. You must you take some time eat yourself. anything that is in a barrel. Don't leave it behind. Cash money. <laughs> Yen. Just like to point out that you've got double the points I have, <laughs> which is usually the way it worked when we uh, when we played this game in the uh... hammer hammer time. It's hammer time. All right. Stop. <laughs> what does that say on top? Does it say pump? I think it said pomp. <laughs> like I know it's probably meant to say points, but it looked like pomp to me. It's the happy dog again. Must be, must be a sign. Hey man, have you had dinner? <laughs> uh, I feel like, um, man. I actually, you know what? I've had a bit too much protein. I think I'll go for the meat. <laughs> I'll leave the. I think you need a bit of protein, so two chickens for you. I just don't know how to throw the knives. How do you throw the knives? <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you had the world's greatest move all lined up, and I just come along Sorry. with my abs. <laughs> I don't know the power of the abs. <laughs> it's written in the Bible. Or some other sacred text. Ah, yeah. Get it! Get it! Have it! The dude just jumped from the... From, from heaven or something. What the... It's just like the... Think of the, you know, the training academy or school that these guys went to where they only would accept. <laughs> Very thin, <laughs> lanky guys. <laughs> and so they've got a whole army of these thin, lanky guys. They've got all the uniforms, they're trained in knives. You get completely wiped out in the space of the night. <laughs> it's like he's got some sort of crazy uh, camo pants on, but then just a hoodie up top. Some sort of cap on there and just knives everywhere. It's Shout out to uh, Leesky, who's clearly a um, prolific graffiti artist. <laughs> now, I'm guessing it's the sun setting in the back there next to the Statue of Liberty. Uh, it's the Statue <laughs> of Liberty, I take it. You know, as all the money that we seem to pick up says yen. Anyway. Um, is it? I've always thought, like, I know it's the sun, but it's kind of like, is it the end of the world? Is it like a laser beam or something? I don't know. It's kind of attached to her as well. It's, um, I think it's actually the Death Star. It's a ah, beam. yes. It was uh, made famous in that film. <laughs> 
That's a good point. So when you're designing this, why the um, beam of light? And it's flashing. It's like... Abigail! It's, um... <laughs> so unnecessary, Abigail. <laughs> Yeah. Give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my greatest Not work, you, right Abigail. Oh. Let's move the. Uh... Oh, didn't mind. <laughs> Abigail. One of his best. Confectionery country of the Ninin. Right? Now, there's also the Ninin Hall in the Balrog stage in Street Fighter 2. I think <laughs> I read that it was some guy's nickname, some guy who worked at Capcom. <laughs> Just be putting his name in it, which I suppose he would. I like how badass we are. I just walked into that. <laughs> I walked into absolutely every single barrel. <laughs> so confident. Look at that stereo man, you it. Some more pom with the radio. We went the wrong way up a one way street. Because we do that. Oops. As you can see, we're absolutely <laughs> we coordinated things down to a T. I didn't mean to do that. There's really no way to speak on a game like this. I mean, I'm sure people don't know better than us, but... <laughs> I like how they're always ready. Like, just in case anything comes into this elevator, we're at the ready, we've got our guard up. No problem. <laughs> kind of imagine he sits at the TV in that same position. There is no sitting well, I can't actually. imagine these guys are relaxing. They're yeah, just there's, they, they stand and there's a TV in front of them. And then they play Punch It. Yeah. Oh, we can Let's keep going. I'm just going to go. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> keep... <laughs> yeah, hey, just keep going. How many guys? Get them, bring them all out. Come on. I've done it before, we can do it again. Actually, what happened? Did we... Ugh. Did we hax them out or something? Because they're all gone. No, I think they're just... <laughs> so inspired by our... Run <laughs> for freedom. <laughs> but they... Um... <laughs> you know what? Let them have it. Yeah. We don't need this. So we went up an elevator, That's right? It. And I think we've passed by... Did we pass by like two or three pools? Yes. Up top? Yeah. <laughs> I 
Oh, yes, I was going to say. <laughs> this move here. We'll call it Scary Man. <laughs> I actually think somebody at school told me that um, that that pretty much is what that move is, and uh, <laughs> said, "Oh, you scare them, and that's why they fall down." They, which is, hey man, that's that's actually fine. That's cool. It, it certainly looks that way, and I I still believe you to this day. Didn't really just say some complete bullshit in the school and <laughs> get away with it. <laughs> Uh, and then just got being by those uh, barrels once again, because I am an expert. <laughs> and those ones too. Gold bars in a barrel. I think we've um, gone all wrong about work and everything. Um, this whole time we could have just gone around beating up barrels and finding precious gems and jewels and... And it's fine, it's like, it's, it, it sustains you too, because every once in a while there's a chicken, a cooked chicken, so... It's a metaphor for life. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just get your ass kicked, sometimes you find a chicken in a barrel. That's it. The well, best defense is anyway. to punch wildly in the air. <laughs> Cannot be beaten. I think it was Sun Tzu who said that. <laughs> Do you reckon no, 1P was his start. dad? <laughs> was there a reason why he's got two Ps? <laughs> Maybe he, his name is PP. And then he thought, no, that's just not going to work in this in this final, this uh, the Mad Gears game. I'll just call myself Two P, right? I think. Well, I just think it. I think everyone's probably named more or less after the outfit they wear. <laughs> oh, it's not actually the name. It's just it's a brand. Hashtag brand. Hey, um, Rich, mm. why are we fighting all these people anyway? Um, <laughs> I think there was a rumor going around town, possibly, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's a little bit murky, but like, <laughs> I, I completely trust that our motives are pure for brutally murdering all these people. Well, seeing as we're in the 80s, I can only guess that, um, we're here to rescue somebody's girlfriend, um, and then at the end I might <laughs> have to fight you for her or something like that. Is that usually... That's all we did in the 80s. That's usually that what exactly happens, it. right? Oh, come on, barrels. Yeah, you had enough. <laughs> nope. And nothing acknowledges. <laughs> oh, Endori, come here. Come here. Smell my butt. <laughs> Smell it. Yeah. Oh, no. You didn't appreciate that, okay. Oh, yes, you can have it again. Oh. Man, I used to always think that in WWF or now WWE, when they did a pile driver, they did it just like Hagar. Landing right on that face, face on the butt. They never quite got as much air as Hagar did. <laughs> or Zangia for that matter. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> it has rewarded with some food. 
And more food. Why is the chicken? Why would it be sitting there in the chandelier? Why? Uh, okay. <laughs> now, really, of all the things that are objectionable in this game, <laughs> being able to do the wheelchair is probably number one. But then he doesn't actually need a wheelchair. That's so right. It's really bizarre. Someone's going to have to explain this entire thing to me, I think, by the end. But I'm not at all across this. He's bald, he's and got sort of sharp kind of, ears, he kind of looks a bit like a vampire. I'm just a little puzzled as to why he's got... He's wearing jeans and casual shoes, but clearly a tuxedo shirt and bow tie. <laughs> he could be like a bartender, like an old-time sort of bartender. Just finished ah, up on a shift. Yeah. Was rolling on in, just been standing up the whole day. I was like, God damn it! What the hell, guys? You punched the crap out of my place, broken my chandeliers, destroyed my uh, Fort and ambition. my glass factory, and he was a guy. He was, you know, <laughs> clearly in his oh. mid to late mid to late forties, and um, just not happy with his life at all. So I'd go and do a bit of kidnapping. Yeah. That'll work. <laughs> ah, oh, father, I was so scared. This is his grand plan. Yes. This is his grand plan. He was going to kidnap the daughter. He was going to get rich and he wouldn't have to be a waiter anymore. That's right. And, and um, destroy the wheelchair. Destroy the dream. Like he, I mean, if he had punched a couple of barrels, he probably would have found all the riches that he had hidden. But uh, <laughs> no, no, kidnap, kidnap the daughter. That's probably a better way of going about it. It's so true. If he'd just broken some barrels, <laughs> all his problems would have been solved. That's right. Staff, planner. Somebody plan this? I want names. Nin Nin Aki Man. I'm coming for you. Tissue. Um, Tissue designed the characters and Prince as well. The Prince. What are these names? <laughs> Yuku, Yuku's Chance Papa. Special thanks to Pooh. Fair enough. Everyone's got to do it. <laughs> Everyone's got to do it. Cody. Oh, what? <laughs> he did jump. What? He did. He beat you. What? This is secretly why I always play as a guy. <laughs> <laughs> always the jilted. Oh, dude. Always the man on the side. Watching everyone else. At the time of their life, they fun. <laughs> Just the man on the side. It's like, after all that, man, you get the girl, damn it. At least I gotta get something out of this. Well, I just kind of think, you know, maybe one of those girls that we beat up might have actually been a really nice person <laughs> and we could just got to know them, maybe. You know, maybe. <laughs> maybe something could happen. Oh, oh dear. Anyway, that was Final Fight, oh, so, uh,. <laughs> if you're still with us and you made it this far congratulations um high five so yeah well anyway i've got to go and now edit all this uh this masterpiece and see if i can synchronize <laughs> anything to anything but um yeah if there is 30 good seconds of this <laughs> i will eat my socks yes all right i'll see you later bye-bye till next time <laughs>